Spencer Brown, also known as the Athlete Special. Um, what do we got on tap today? We're gonna go for my 800 minute rest, around 232. If we wanna go any faster, maybe, but very easy. And then we'll just do three by 200 at whatever, 15 pace. Sunglasses look sick on camera, Spencer. What? Not good. Body's feeling good. I think that I have to expect that if I want to run fast, I have to close in like 56 off of like a 241 or even 243 closing 55. That seems to be what people are doing but I feel like I'm in a position to do it. So run 59s to 60s and then close fast. We'll get under 340, maybe hit that 337. <laughs> <laughs> this is a three and a half minute clip. I'm gonna end it. What's good people? We are about to head out for the race. Allie and I, we are going. I'm running the 15, Allie's running the 5K. I'm in heat five for the 15. I have to do my best to just focus on competing tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna do, or I'm definitely gonna run the race up front. Um, whether I'm like the first one on the pacer, I probably won't be, but I'm gonna be like within the top three or four from the gun and just put myself in it and, and run with confidence that way. All right, we're here in Portland. Good hotel. Shout out to the meet directors, we're in an awesome hotel. The drive was super rainy, as you can tell from outside. It was raining the whole time and it took five hours to get here. It was four hours and 15 minutes. Five, it was five and a half at least. So yeah, now we're gonna do a little shake out probably and then probably just chill out, watch Survivor, get food tonight. This is a quick in and out business trip. Burritos for dinner, delicious. Shout out to Parker Stokes. From Georgetown, he won or he he got third place in the steeplechase. He ran 818. That's unbelievable. He that guy can he might have a chance of making a world team this year. All right, guys, we are up and at him. It's race day. Got the drip coffee right here, and I'm actually feeling really good. I'm gonna sip on this drip coffee, then do a shakeout. I ate a bagel and banana already, so shake out at 11. And then come back here, chill, and then head out for the meet at 3.15ish. So, 
I'm feeling all right. I, I just hope my race is fast, and uh, I just want to try to win my race today. Alright guys, so that was the race. Um, I obviously like to give the 48 hour rules, which means like don't don't really introspect on the race for at least 48 hours just because emotionally after the race I was pretty upset because it just it didn't go the way I wanted it to. So like I'm not gonna have clear thoughts after that. So 48 hours later, I've kind of sat with my thoughts a little bit on the race and to be honest, there's not really much I would have changed. I ran aggressive and smart. I wasn't the first one on the pacer. The only thing that I probably shouldn't have done, but hindsight's 2020, so I would never change it, is probably not try to take the race with 650 out because I ran out of steam in the end. My thought process is that it wasn't that fast and I was willing to bet on myself that I would have it in me to close in you know, 55, 56, even 57 to at least win the race. And to simply put it, I didn't have it. And uh, I, it's disappointing. I thought I would have had way more in the tank in the end and I just didn't. Um, maybe had I sat back and just kicked with 200 to go, I would have had a shot at winning the race, which is obviously the most important part. But um, other than that, the it's just a head scratcher. Um, I also talked to, shout out Coach Tim. Uh, I was talking to a coach after the race and he said that he thinks that I have kind of built up in my head this this expectation or this pressure of trying to run 337 as a time and it's made me not focus as much on the process, which I can see a little bit of that. I think that that's, there's definitely an element of that that's true. Um, and I also talked to my dad a little bit and he was saying he thinks that Somewhere along the way this outdoor season, we did something, I think, that probably took away from my, our progression, and my dad, he's trying to take the blame on that, and I don't think it's all on him. I think that me as an athlete, I, I, there's just some things in training that maybe we could have done differently, um, but the main thing that we know now is that what we did this outdoor season didn't work. For, for trying to get down to 337. I think we perfectly laid the foundation this fall and this winter. And I think this outdoor, my only critique on the training uh, is that maybe we got a little bit too far away from speed earlier in the season. So we really tried to compensate and get it back this whole outdoor season. And in doing that, we then got rid of a little bit of the aerobic gains we had. But guys, it's so complicated. This is the, the hard part of it all, just trying to figure it out, how it, how it can fully work. Um, so I think that I probably need a little bit more balanced training. Um, and that's sort of what my dad thinks as well. So um, I'm gonna be racing more this summer, but I have, I'm done. I'm just done trying to run fast times uh, to focus on the time. I have so much more fun when I just worry about competing and I don't have a big deck of cards when I'm out there in the game in, in the race uh, my cards are usually just kind of staying back and then just kicking with like 200 to go so if I can just figure out a way to win races 
I think I'd have so much more fun with the sport, so much more fun posting videos and get rid of this expectation, this pressure that I put on myself. Um, because these meets aren't that fun when all I'm thinking about is I have to run 337 and I'm not necessarily getting into the fastest situations anyway to be able to do that. So really all I can focus on is trying to compete and get the best out of myself without you know, getting mentally upset. And I've admittedly probably not done the best job of that. So I think officially the 337 project is over and we failed. I failed uh, to do it. And like I said, I wasn't afraid to fail and I can hang my head up high and say I did everything I could. And you know, it's just frustrating that the training we did, I think I put in the work, but we weren't getting the result. And you kind of have to just live with that at times. So. With that guys, thank you so much for watching this whole series. Um, I'm really sorry I let you guys down, but I don't feel bad about it. I, I tried my best um, and at the end of the day, that's all you can do. And um, yeah, I'm still gonna be posting a lot of videos of training stuff and there's plenty of more races in the cards, but I did not make USAs. I did not run 337. We failed, but that we live with it. With that guys, we'll see you soon.